So this is an iCarsoft diagnostic tool, which I bought as faulty off eBay. So this one is the V2 version for the Mercedes-Benz cars. And as you can see, it comes with the ODB2 lead for plugging into the car and a USB lead for connecting to the laptop and the scanner itself. So the reason this was listed as faulty is, is apparently it has a no display issue. So in this video, we're going to see if we can uh, fix that and get this thing working again. So first up, what we're going to do is plug it into the laptop to give it some power and then see what the issue is with the display. So yeah, as you can see, there's clearly nothing coming up. We should be seeing something on the screen. And I've also noticed there's no SD card, so there's no software currently running on this. So we'll need to fix that as well. Right. So it looks like there's a load of screws on the back. So we're going to go and uh, undo those and get this thing opened up. OK, with the cover now off, uh, the state of the PCB looks OK. Can't see any obvious damage or anything like that, which is good. And there are two screws that are just holding it onto the case. So, yeah, we're going to undo those now and get the board out and have a look at the screen. Right. We've now got the screen exposed. So what we're going to need to do is try and remove it. So there's a little clip here you need to carefully undo. And it looks like that the screen has been kind of glued on with double sided tape. So we just need to carefully lift it off. And yeah, we can now take a look at the screen and try and figure out how we can get a replacement. So you can see on the back here, there is a model number. So yeah, I'm going to go off now and have a look and see if we can find a replacement. Right, so it's been a couple of weeks later now, and after doing quite a lot of searching on the internet for the screen, uh, I managed to source this, which is a replacement. Now this one is slightly smaller. This is a three and a half inch screen. So unfortunately I couldn't get the four inches apparently after contacting the manufacturer, these are no longer available. So you can see here the size difference. Uh, the main thing is if we look at the connections, they are identical as I checked the pinouts on the display uh, with the new one. So yeah, as you can see, as we're lining it up and obviously there is a size difference. It doesn't quite fit, but I can live with that. It's not a big problem. So yeah, we'll see how it looks in the case now. So if I grab the case and put it on there. And if I can get this thing in straight, then we can kind of see roughly how it's going to look. OK, so yeah, let's uh, plug the screen in now and see if we can actually get something to come up on the display. Right, so I'm just carefully connecting it back onto the PCB. OK, that's in. So yeah, we'll get the USB lead back in here now and see if anything comes up. OK, that's fantastic. As you can see here, it's now come up with upgrade mode. So yeah, we can now proceed to bring the software onto it. OK, so I've now fitted the screen. You can see here I just put some electrical tape around the edge just to hold it in place and also to try and hide the PCB when it's uh, put into the case. So yeah, we'll do a bit of a test fit now to see how this looks. And yeah, we can see it's not perfect, but it uh, doesn't need to be as long as the display works. So yeah, next up is uh, trying to install the software on the SD card. So let's jump onto the laptop and do that. Right, so we're on the iCarsoft website where we can hopefully download the latest version of the software. So we click on supports and updates and we go down to Mercedes-Benz V2. So yeah, I'm going to download that file and it comes in as a zip file. So we're just going to extract that and then run the installation program and then get the SD cards and put it into a card reader so that we can install the software. So if we start the iCarsoft software now, so first thing it will do when you try and launch it is ask for the serial number, which you can get either from the display or the back of the unit. So we type that in here. Hit the upgrade button and then we need the UID code, which you can get from the screen when it's plugged in. So, yeah, we'll just type that in now. And then this brings up all of the different things. So for the purpose of uh, my cars, I'm going to uncheck the smart and sprinters. I don't need those and I'm just going to download the files for the Mercedes. So yeah, this was now going to uh, clear the SD card and we'll just let the download progress. 
Right, so once that's completed, you get a message like this. So now we can remove the SD card and put it in the unit and uh, see what it does. So we've now got the SD card back in the diagnostic tool. So we can now plug it in via the USB port. And as you can see, it gets us into upgrade mode. So if we hit back, it should then attempt to load the software, which it does. So brilliant. Looks like this uh, tool is now working again. So I would like to try and replace this with the four inch screen, but uh, I don't know where to source that from at the moment. So if anyone knows, please leave a comment. But other than that, I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.